Sports Talk. Again, I am Aaron Wilgosh. I am joined right now by Daniel Roca Lopez. He is the president of Morden Minor Soccer. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, let's just quickly, a little bit about yourself. How long have you been the president and what sort of things go along with being the president? Well, this is the second year that I've taken over this role. And uh, before I was just doing the marketing and advertisement for Minor Soccer. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I saw on the website. It said you were in charge of photography, so it hadn't been updated yet yeah, since then. Yeah, so. we need to change that, but uh, yeah, we're working on it. We're doing lots of changes this year. Yeah, and like you said, we were just talking off camera here just yeah. about sort of things that are coming up, and one of the things is registration. You guys are moving into an, on, an online registration, and uh, that's really going to smooth things out for people. That's right. Uh, we want to try to move away from that uh, hassle, have people coming on and late, so everything's going to be online. And uh, uh, we'll have an app that will be pushing updates, oh, like awesome. yeah, weather cancellations and stuff like that. So yeah, we're trying to move into this century. Finally. See, and, and that's huge because you get those app updates where it's yeah. like the, uh, the field's in no condition to have a game tonight, things are canceled, it's blipped right to your phone, that's people right. don't have to worry about it. That's so right. really taking things forward for you there, Morden parents, it's going to get a lot easier. Now, Morden Minor Soccer, this runs in age groups, um, in grades basically. Maybe you can uh, break down how kids get grouped. That's great. We go from K to 10 grade. Uh, 10 to 10 grade is a mixed uh, a league, and K to 1 is also mixed. The rest of the grades are just boys and girls broken. Into okay. it. Yeah. And uh, the, you do have boys and girls programs. They're not mixing everyone together. Yeah, in the middle, yeah. Only K to 1 is uh, mixed, and 7 to 10 is mixed. The rest of the grades are all boys and girls. Okay. How, many, how many players would you say you have? playing soccer here in this in this area in the morden area probably a lot yes fortunately it's been growing and we're hitting around 400 kids per wow. season that's correct and we have kids coming from different areas around here too now how does how, something like this doesn't work without volunteers parents helping out i can only imagine you guys are always looking for people to help out that's right yes uh, this year we need a lot of help like many other years too uh, we need help with people helping with coaching refing uh, equipment and things like that but yeah this is uh, supported by your parents and volunteers now this isn't a huge time commitment people need to understand you're not asking them for 20 hours a week this is just helping out and and bringing a lot of laughter and fun into some kids lives that's right we only need people that is passionate about soccer and of course the kids and uh, yeah it's just a one time like the equipment is just a one time thing and uh, we hope that you guys come up and really help us this year now um, fields I mean are you guys uh, all set with number of fields like you guys don't run into uh, um, cancellations for practices because of overbookings things like that no fortunately we have the support of the town uh, here with the access uh, center we use these fields and we use other fields but yeah we, we it'll be good to have an indoor field and I think uh, there's plans in the future to work on towards that and we're really excited and hopefully it happens now we, uh, we we talked a little bit about this but people are always looking for different competition levels and some kids might be a lot better than other kids at their skill development age uh, do you guys maybe have any travel teams or or triple a teams as they would call them yeah we have a, a travel team uh, they just take kids from grade 12 and up okay. and they go traveling at like Carmen and uh, towns around here yeah cool and yeah. that and so uh, that would be a, a senior team yeah it's 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 not the grade school uh, it's not the same kind of soccer so it's more advanced okay. but uh, yeah they're they're older kids Okay. And uh, registration, when's that going to be happening? you got to assume kids are going to be getting out there soon. That's right. May 1st, open registration, online only. Okay. Now, uh, let's let's break this down maybe for some of the parents that maybe aren't as technical, technologically, I can't even speak apparently, yeah. aren't as good at computers. Yeah. So uh, is there maybe someone that they can get in touch with to maybe register in person if it comes down to it? Yeah, if you just don't want to go through the online registration, which is going to be really easy. And again, I say there's a lot of uh, advantages towards uh, using that system. But if you have to drop off things in person, you can just email at info at morteminersoccer uh, dot com and I'll contact you and we will arrange a drop off. And are you guys also on uh, Facebook and things like that as well? We have a Facebook page too on on. Well, on Facebook, facebook.com, uh, uh, more than minor soccer. Awesome. Um, what, what sort of costs do go into having a child play? Is it, is it more expensive for someone, say, in the higher age group than the kindergartners? No. This is one of the cheapest sports that your kid can get into it. It's $45 awesome. per kid, so it's pretty affordable. Uh, we just have an extra fee if you want to uh, volunteer. And, uh, yeah, it's, you just need uh, some uh, shoes and shorts and 
Ready to play. You're, You're good, good to, to go. play. Yeah. It's one of those sports that it those does not cost a lot. But we, we really need to stress the importance of having people come out and volunteer. Like, yeah. you guys really do need these. That's right. Yes, we need a lot of help because, like I said, there's many little jobs that you can do. Uh, it's not a throughout year thing. It's just a one time in September or the beginning of the season. And uh, we really appreciate if you can come back and help us referees coaches anything you can do to help out get in touch with my man daniel here he's definitely going to want to help you out because they want to keep growing more than minor right. soccer it's what you're right. trying to do you want those numbers to continue to grow and like you said it's something that has been happening yes we want to have more traveling teams we want to have an indoor soccer field so we need to start uh getting this uh culture of uh soccer uh in the area we have a lot of immigrants that love to play the sport yeah. it's easy to play and uh yeah come on and have fun and, and you know, one thing we don't talk about a lot is what soccer does for you in other sports. A lot of hockey players play soccer. A lot of football players play soccer. Getting that footwork down is really important. That's right. Uh, we have uh, hockey players that come and play uh, because it's, they don't have the season going on. And it's a good sport to, to work. It's pretty similar to hockey too, yeah. even rules and all that stuff. So if you're in an, another an sport and so you want to try this one, this is a good place to start. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me here, Tate, Daniel. I'm Aaron Wilgosh. You are watching ASTV Sports Talk. We will be back in a few moments. Thanks.